Good evening, good evening everyone. Okay, uh, we are experiencing some uh, technical issue down here. We are trying to resolve it. I hope all of you can see and hear me. There's something wrong with our Wi-Fi uh, setting, so uh, we are trying to adjust everything and start as soon as possible. <coughs> Hope that all of you have uh, taken your dinner and now we're going to wait for just a short while before we proceed on with talking about Feng Shui. Let us discuss about Feng Shui and what it does for us. See me clearly because I can't see myself now. <laughs> okay, I hope that I'm still uh, in town. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. How many viewers we have now? Thanks all of you for your patience. Uh, I'm trying to figure out everything before we can uh, start this uh, live session properly. Can all of you uh, see me? If yes, uh, please give me some likes. Thank you. And help to share this uh, live session, please. Ah, now I can see myself. Okay. It's a bit uh, lag, so I can see about 17, 18 of you doing this uh, live session. Okay, without further ado, let's start our discussion about Feng Shui. Now, Feng Shui is about life, our life luck, our personal luck, as well as Feng Shui as a tool. So, in Chinese, it's known as Yi Ming, Er Yun, San Feng Shui. So, our life luck, most of the major part of our life, Woman the Ming, cannot be changed. But our personal luck fluctuates. It goes up and down. Sometimes we feel that we are so lucky. You know, just buy a number and we can strike. Uh, sometimes we find that life uh, is not treating us correctly. Whatever we do, it is not to our advantage or to the best that we wanted for the result. So this is called personal luck. So life luck is in me. Personal luck is E Yun. Feng Shui is number three. Feng Shui acts as a tool to help us to enhance our life. Feng Shui is about balancing the yin and yang, balancing energy. It's about science in certain aspects. Because we are talking about the direction of the flow of energy, positive energy, to create harmony with the, and with the environment. Why I say so? You cannot change the environment. No matter how the building is there, the structure is there, the doors, the rooms, everything are so-called fixed. So when everything is fixed, what we can do is actually to change ourselves to suit the environment rather than to change the environment to suit us. 
Feng Shui is also about creating positive energy within the house or the environment, even in your workplace or at home. What we need to concentrate is creating a positive energy within this environment so that when we go home or when we go to the office, we are very relaxed. Like for example now, the energy within me is not so balanced because we were struggling with the Wi-Fi and everything. Now, I'm starting to relax and bring my energy down to a positive energy. So this is about energy. When we go out daily for work to send the children to school, we meet with people, we talk to people, Sometimes we talk to our boss, our colleagues, our customers, for example. And we have mixtures of positive and negative energy. So when you finish your work, you come home. You come home to a negative energy. It will make things worse for you. You will feel that you are not at ease. You don't feel like coming home is coming back to a home. You feel like when you come home, when you reach home, before you step in, your energy is very low. After you step in, worse still, it becomes even lower. So, when you have a positive energy within the house, once you reach home, you will start to stabilize yourself. The energy starts to balance and you will start to relax. The most important thing about our life is coming home, we can relax ourselves. Of course, some of you have children, uh, PAP, primary school, PSLE, which was just over. Now, people are struggling with O-level. So this, all these things will create tension, will create um, certain kind of energy. It depends on how much you want it to be positive or negative. So when a positive energy in the house it will actually recharge a person. It will actually help you to relax and recharge after a hard day's work. Just like after you go for a bath, you come out from the bathroom, you will feel refreshed. That is the same reason. <coughs> Feng Shui is also about proper space planning. If you have a house or office, and the place is so cluttered, it will not create positive energy. When you do proper space planning within the house, your house will be clutter free. You will have seamless design. When you come into the house, you will feel joyful. You will feel that, oh, you are coming to a place that uh, you can call it home. If you come back home and you see things lying around, you know, children's uh, uh, toys, uh, all the laundry and all that, all over the place, you will feel frustrated. Okay, so when we talk about Feng Shui, we are talking about planning, how we go about to plan the entire house, proper placement of furniture and all the items. Once you place them properly, your house will have energy, will have positive energy flowing. If you don't place them properly, the energy will be either stagnant, stale or flowing in a negative direction. Now, earlier on, I was talking about in me, early in San Feng Shui, about our life luck, about our personal luck, about our Feng Shui. Actually, it's also linked. Everything for me in, to give you an easier explanation will be in a triangle. So it will be Yin Ming, Er Yin, San Feng Shui in the triangle. It's also about Tian Yi Ren. It's about heaven's uh, will for us. It's about the earth environment for us, which leads to the person. How the person can flourish or how the person has negative energy actually depends on this triangular uh, cycle. 
a lot of people say, oh, feng shui, after you see feng shui, after you uh, do placement of feng shui items and so on and so forth, you will strike for the, you will be rich, you will become a millionaire overnight. Actually, feng shui is not for this purpose. Feng shui, if I were to explain it in a very clear manner, is when our life luck, moment of me, our life luck is at a positive stage in life, meaning that we are quite doing well. We have all these things in life. Our personal luck, moment the yun chen, our personal luck is going up. Okay, so we feel lucky, you know, we have a smooth career, we have good family, our children are all okay. This is the time where Feng Shui becomes a booster. It helps you to push your personal luck higher so that you can achieve your life goal, which is your life luck, which is what you have or what you don't have. So when you have it, Feng Shui will help you to push your personal luck to let you achieve what you want in life. This is an important aspect of uh, actually our personal luck, boosting our personal luck. Now, when we boost up our personal luck, when we feel that we, we need to do more, we need to do better, we can achieve this slowly. It doesn't happen overnight. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Now I can see myself already. Now I feel much better, more confident. <laughs> okay. So Feng Shui is actually a booster. It boosts up our personal luck. So when our personal luck is up, it helps us to push even higher. Now, when our personal luck goes down, what happens? Feng Shui becomes a safety net. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Feng Shui becomes a safety net. It helps us to prevent us from falling further, from falling down. If your personal luck is sliding, we need this feng shui aspect to become a safety net, to prevent us from falling further down. Once we don't fall to the bottom, we are still there, we are still safe. So this Feng Shui helps us to prevent us from sliding all the way down to the rock bottom. It helps us to fall slowly, cushioning the fall. Until a stage where our life luck goes normal. It helps us to maintain. Once our life luck goes up, it will push up again. So this is the basic aspect of Feng Shui. It acts as a booster when our luck is up, it acts as a safety net when our luck is down. So, creating positive energy also enhances our health, harmony at home, and also our wealth. Now, wealth is about Chai Fu. Chai Fu is not only about money. Wealth is not only about money. It's about health. When we are healthy, we can enjoy the food, we can enjoy the scenery, we can enjoy the time with our family, we can work peacefully, happily. Health is important. Harmony at home is also important. Imagine coming back home, always quarreling and also because of the children, because of the family, because of whatever things, there's always quarreling. There's no harmony. So wealth is not only about how much you earn, it's not about how much total 4D you strike. It's about total wealth as a whole. So it is very important. Everyone so good? Everyone good so far? Hello, huh?
can't I can't see the comment. Give me a moment. Now I can see the comment. I just hope when you into Feng Shui. Okay, I started Feng Shui very young and I've been to Feng Shui for 20 30 years. Okay. Thank you for joining our session. Okay, no more comments, I will move on. Okay, the first triangle, it means a yin sun feng shui. The second triangle, we are talking about tian di ren. Now, I would like to bring you all to our home. Home feng shui. What is important for our home to have good feng shui? Now, it's also a triangle. It starts from the living room. It goes to the master bedroom and it joins towards the kitchen. So what about the other bedrooms? Are they important? Yes, they are equally important. However, these three main points must be in good order so that we can um, create harmony at home. Let's talk about the first point in the triangle, which is the living room. The living room starts from the main door into the living area. That is important. We need to find a well spot. Chai Wei. Why do we find a well spot? We find a well spot so that we can place some feng shui ornament in order to help us to enhance wealth. We have to put the TV console, the sofa at a proper position, the dining table at a proper position so that the energy can flow properly it can also create positive energy. So the wealth spot is for actually enhancing our wealth. Like I said, wealth can be family health, it can be uh, luck, it can be career, it can be for the children's well-being. So for the living room, it's important to understand where is our wealth spot, how, what we need to place, where should we sit and how should we face? Uh, some of our customers gave us feedback throughout so many years. They always ask me a question. Is it true that if I just focus on the front door facing, some of our customers uh, engage their consultant and they say, oh, you just find a main door facing that is actually northeast facing. Voila, the house is good, you can buy that house already. So to me, I would like also to take this opportunity to share with all of you. The main door is no doubt important, but it is only a small part of the entire house. Regardless it's a HDB 3 room flat, a studio apartment condo, or a landed property, the important part of the living room includes the main door, but it also includes the facing positioning within the living room so that you can create at least a clutter free and positive energy living room to enhance your wealth and health, family well being. So these are important points, not only the main door. Now, when you go to the living room, when you go to the uh, balcony or you have uh, windows, you look outside. That is external. We will talk about external star and uh, all these things later on. Now we concentrate inside the house. So, first important point is the living room. We need to know how to place everything properly. This is to help us to bring in the wealth. The second important point is the master bedroom. It's where you enhance or grow your wealth. I always have this idea. You can earn money. You can earn $10,000 a month, $20,000 a month. You are just a disciple. 
，你会赚钱，你是徒弟。You know how to save the money, you know how to grow the money, then you are the master. 会赚钱是徒弟，会省钱才是师傅。So when we are talking about master bedroom, there is also a well spot where you can put your safe deposit box inside. Or have a locker, a drawer that you can lock. Why do you need to lock? It's very simple. You will put things that are of value to you inside this well spot. For example, your marriage cert, your bank account book, your investment portfolios, your children's birth cert. Everything that can grow money, that can that can enhance. Your family, you will put it inside. So when you have a living room, well spot where you can bring in and enhance health, wealth, you have your master bedroom to help you to grow the wealth. So that in three to five years time, you can upgrade either to from a HDB to an EC condo or from condo to landed property and so on and so forth. Even if If you don't upgrade a property, at least you upgrade your lifestyle, your living standard, because you can grow your wealth. Earning ten thousand dollars a month and spending twelve thousand dollars a month will bring you nowhere except near to bankruptcy. If you can earn three thousand dollars a month and you can save one thousand five hundred dollars a month, you will also be rich. All right. So, master bedroom. We are also talking about if you are a couple, your relationship with your spouse is important. So, while in the bedroom, we are also concerned about the directional facing, where you sleep, how you sleep, and this will affect your relationship with your spouse, and it will also have significant、uh, results if you are planning to have children. Then again, when we Can go back to 一命二运三风水 If your life luck, 你的命 don't allow you to have a child. No matter what you do, it's very difficult to have to conceive. However, if you place your feng shui in your living、uh, bedroom properly, when your personal luck, 运程 is up, the feng shui help you to push. Who knows? You may have your wish come true. I have seen a lot of my customer.、Uh, when I first got to know them, they were boyfriend girlfriend. So after a while, they start to plan for their wedding. They start to plan for their first house. After which, they plan for their first child. So some of them very fast. This year get married. Next year, wow, they be married. Or start to have pregnancy. Good news. But some of them, after three to five years, six to seven years, or even some even ten years, they do not have a child. So with a proper、uh, feng shui and、uh, layout planning, everything, we hope that we can help the couple to conceive. And last but not least, the third triangle that is important is the kitchen. When we talk about the kitchen, we talk about the sink and the stove. Sui pen wu lu. These two things are important aspects of feng shui. The sink is water. The stove is fire. So this sink and stove, we can talk until the cow come home. We will have different understanding of. This placement of sink and stove. A lot of us will know. Oh, sink and stove cannot opposite each other. 水火相冲，水火不容 But some people will say, oh, the sink cannot be beside the stove. The sink must be away from the stove. Must be、uh, opposite, but not directly facing each other and all that. So there are many things that we can talk about the sink and stove. 
But the most important thing I would like to share with all of you is that the sink and the stove cannot be apart. Cannot be apart. Why? Because the sink represents water. Water represents yin. Yin and yang. Water represents yin. The stove represents fire. Fire represents yang. So the yin and yang cannot break apart. It represents the yin represents the wife, the yang represents the husband. So these two things cannot be separated. If you put it at different spots, they are separated permanently. So they must be together, but a distance apart so that the fire and water doesn't conflict. So if you maintain the living room well, with your wealth spot to enhance wealth, you maintain your master bedroom for your relationship and for your growing of your wealth and your children planning, baby planning, you maintain the sink and the stove correctly. These three points in the triangle will form up a very positive energy that helps to enhance the entire house. So, how about the other room? You have children, you have elderly, your parents retired staying with you. Your parents have brought you up and they have given you everything they, they have got. So, what's next? Now is for us to earn money and to take good care of them. So they are also near to the age of retirement. They do not need uh, wealth as in money. They have enough to spend, they have good health, they are fine. They can have grandchildren to, to bring down for a walk, they are fine. So we do not concentrate on their feng shui as in the whole house. The whole house is only for the husband and wife. Because they are the official owner, they are the main breadwinner for the house. So your parents stay with you. The room is not too difficult to adjust. For your children, if they are below 20 years old, very likely they need your support. They can't earn money for themselves. Okay? So most of the time they are studying or they have just completed their study. So any children below the age of 20, especially those 1 years old to 12 years old, do not need to see the well spot for them. They do not need well spot, Chai Wei. They do not need to enhance wealth for themselves. Their parents need to enhance wealth so that whatever the child needs, the parents can give to the child. So, for the children, it's also easy for planning of how they sleep, where they face, where the position for their study, Wen Chang Wei. All these are easy. The most important points are the three points that I have mentioned earlier. I have seen a customer talk to them and they don't understand this point. They want to engage my service Yet, they want me to see the feng shui for the kids, the ba zi to read for the kids. Three children, all below the age of 12 years old. So, naturally, I explain. I, we don't want to see ba zi for your child because of one reason. That is the only reason. The reason is, for a child, if you continue to see his ba zi, bring to this uh, fortune teller, bring to that fortune teller, change his name, change, you know, all these things. It is not good for the child. Your child is still young. He, he, is, he or she is not stable yet. They are not at the age where they can come out and fight for themselves to start their career, to start their family by themselves. Yet, 
unless they are 18 years old and above coming to 20, we completed their NS, completed their studies and everything, they are coming out to the world to start. Then you can tell them, okay, it's time for you to see your parts to understand your, your well spot, you know, so that you can create. When you have a house, you know how to trace all these things. So I will not dwell into this for the child. My advice to everyone here is don't, don't bother to bring your child to see Pa Zi, read Pa Zi, wow, this year what, what will happen and all this. It is not good for your child to always be given the Pa Zi to be read. Okay? The more you read, the more it's not good for your child. The time where you need to read the parts for your child is for what? It's for the naming. You want to give the child a good name. Yes. You get. If you don't read the parts, you don't understand the five element. Chimu Sui Wotu. You don't understand the life weight of the child. You don't understand anything about child. How to give a proper name. This one I agree. Please proceed and get your child a good name and it will be good for him or her. Or cesarean. Some of uh, young couples, they prefer cesarean. So cesarean, you can actually check the dates and time, the auspicious date, Yang Chen Ji Zi, for your child to be born. Again, yes, also depending on the life luck, the life luck of the child. You can plan ahead one to two months. Get someone to uh, select the auspicious date and time for the cesarean to happen. You can book the gynae two months in advance. The gynae say, okay, no problem. I will do the cesarean for you for on this date, this time, particular timing. However, two to three days, even one day before, the child decided to come to this world. The water bag first. You can't tell the child, hey, you don't come up first. You wait tomorrow morning or later on, the timing is perfect for you, then you come up. So sometimes due to complications, sometimes due to unforeseen circumstances, sometimes even the gynae last minute urgent needs to rush to KK and cannot perform the CSEC, has to delay for another two hours. It is also the fate of the child. So, for children, please note, don't always bring them to see parts all the time. Okay? Do only when it's necessary. Alright, I would like to move on to uh, the next thing that we're going to talk about. Let me have a drink first. Cheers everyone. Let me just uh, see the comments. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, today a lot of people are watching. Uh. We are 22 minutes into this live session. Okay. There are many people watching. Thanks all of you. Wow, got like really. Jackie. Hello everyone. Okay. So before I proceed to the next uh, topic that I'm going to share with you, I just like to do a simple recap. Yin Ming Er Yun San Feng Shui. Tian Di Ren. Important aspect of the Feng Shui is the living room, the master bedroom, and the kitchen. That was what we discussed earlier on. For those who just came in, Maybe you can watch the replay of the live and understand more. I would like to apologize because earlier on I was not uh, stable because of the technical issues that we are facing. So now I'm okay already. So let's proceed on to talk about directions. So far you have any questions? If you have any questions, please let us know and we will try to answer your questions pertaining to Feng Shui. If you want to watch the 
you want to talk about Kim Wu. Uh, please watch our second live session, which was last Wednesday. Uh, we have gone into quite detail about Kim Wu, which is also known as Pi Xiu. Okay, before I forget, all my dear friends, my followers, our supporters, remember to help us to like and share this session so that uh, you can send a private message to us with the uh, screenshot. Uh, screenshot of the sharing so that we can go for this uh, lucky draw on the 28th of October. I have three lucky draw. I have shown the lucky draw pocket size 10 loop last week and the week before. So now I put inside the, this uh, our pouch. So this pouch here it is, uh, can you see? Can you see that? Uh, okay. Wang Jing Wan Liang. And this is uh, our Tian Lu logo. Okay, this is specially uh, made for all my customers. So please help me to like and share. Send us a screenshot. We will do a live lucky draw on the 28th October, which is our final uh, live session. It's should be the final last session for our life because doing life is not easy yeah. <laughs> but let's see uh, if everything is fine if we can continue to uh, do live session once in a while why not hi Ross you have a question is Pazi reading like if you once if you see once you will never change so it's like one reading lasts forever Okay, uh, what? Don't worry, you're you all you no need to be too worried. I can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, our staff is helping me with these uh, uh, question. questions and all that. I know, I know, I see already. I see already. Uh, can. Now, I can, now I can see all these uh, questions are easier. It's easier for me. Alright, so. Pazi reading is for once or for uh, forever or every time you must see. Pazi, we are talking about life reading. Life reading means the entire life. The entire life from the day you are born until the day we go. Maybe I'll have to explain before uh, we go into Pazi. What is Pazi? Pazi means eight characters. Eight characters. Yi er san si wu liu qi ba pazi. So where does this pazi derive from? It derives from the date, time of birth. That means your year, your month, your day, and your time. So the year has two characters, the month has two characters, the day has two characters, and the time has two characters. Four times two is eight. So what are these eight characters? They are the Tian Gan Di Zi, which means a heavenly stem and earthly branch. I will not go into all the technical aspects. So when a person talks about Ba Zi, Sheng Chen Ba Zi, Sheng Chen means the day you are born. Sheng Chen. Ba Zi means the eight characters that is derived from the year, month, day and time. So with this Sheng Chen Ba Zi, it will actually bring you a step further to understand about your five elements namely wood, metal, fire, earth and water If you are going to see Ba Zi, Ba Zi will determine all this for you and tell you what is in store for you in your life why is your character like this? Why some people are outspoken? Why some people are more introvert? Why some people behave in certain manner? Why someone like certain color and hate certain colors? These are all part and parcel of understanding Ba Zi. So Ba Zi, if you read, is for your whole life. Those that you see the 12th zodiac sign, 
Every year, now I think start already. I think uh, if you go many places, uh, <coughs> temple or those uh, Rocho Fortune Center or this place, you will start to see or oh, this year, the year of the wreck, what you expect, the year of the tiger, what you expect. This one is yearly fortune reading. It is not part of the reading. Part of the reading is very personal and only meant for that person throughout his life. Okay, Ross, I answered your question already. Uh, Yvonne, Yvonne Young. Hello. We have a question. Nowadays, a lot of kitchen stove and sink is placing at different location. How? Uh? Okay, good question. Uh, we must understand that nowadays, HDB kitchen is not very big. In fact, certain uh, HDB houses that I've gone to, I stretch out both my hands, I can touch both sides of the walls of the kitchen. So you can imagine how small it is. And due to the space constraint, sometimes you have to uh, split up the sink and the stove. However, if with proper placement and understanding of the direction, we can actually place it, no matter how small, it is for an HDB flat or even a studio apartment, we can still place the sink and stove relatively well, as much as possible. If for condo, it's already uh, pre-built, it's built within the condo itself, the sink and the stove. Some designs are the sink and the stove opposite direction, but nowadays the architect very clever already. They know the sink and the stove cannot face opposite. Sui Wo Xiang Chong, Sui Wo Fu Xiang Rong, all this kind of thing. So what they do? They put the stove here, they put the sink here. So Mei Yu Chong. Mei Yu Chong, but put Zai Yi Qi. It doesn't conflict, but yet it's not together. If you have this kind of situation, there's only Two ways you can go about doing it. One, renovate the kitchen, which is not very ideal because for a condo or for a small HDB uh, kitchen, it's not easy to replace or to, to adjust the, the position. You can also consider option two to get a Feng Shui consultant to go and advise you on how to place it properly. How to remedy without renovation. It can, it can be done for certain uh, kitchen, but not all. Okay, it's based on a case-to-case -case basis. Okay, Yvonne. Oh, so, so Yvonne, I've answered your question. Hopefully, I can answer the question because some things are uh, we are talking about general poultry, so uh, some things are quite specific, so it needs to be done on site. If you are not sure about anything, you can always PM me. Hello everyone, I well, know like a lot of people watching. Uh, thank you so much, thanks everyone for watching our live session. Uh, it takes a lot of courage and it takes a lot of energy to have a live session. It's not easy. Last time I see other people doing live, I thought, oh, easy lah, no problem. But seriously, it's not easy. So I'm trying my best to uh, discuss with all of you about Feng Shui. Please note, our live sessions will never be selling anything. We are not selling any services. We are not selling any Tianyu. We are not doing any live reading, stuff from zero dollar or whatever. Okay? Hi, Denise. How are you? Mm -hmm. Okay, what is the distance between the sink and the stove? For the sink and the stove, the best is at least one foot apart. One foot. One foot apart. 
Turn it off. Ding, ding, ding. One foot. So the distance is around, around this. So if the sink is here, the stove starts from here. So in between there's one foot minimum. Best you can go up to 1.5 to 2 feet apart. This should be the rough uh, guide, guideline for the distance between the sink and the stove. Uh, try not to put the sink and the stove this distance or this distance is too near. Okay? The fire and the water still has conflict. Okay, Dennis, hope that I answered your question. Anything not sure, you have my contact number. Thank you, Joseph. I'm doing well. Good job. Thank you. Okay. Sis Teresa. Kalen, Kalen. Thank you so much. Everyone's time is precious. I also appreciate all of you spending your precious time to uh, log in and listen to our live session. Thank you so much. Yes, brother Joseph, I'm not selling anything. My, my, uh, my thinking is this, since this is our promotional month, our 31st anniversary, uh, for this one month, I was thinking, yeah, why not we do a few live sessions? So we have done the third one today. So we have two more to go. Okay, let's proceed back to uh, our next topic we are going to share with you is the four main direction. North, South, East, West. North, South, East, West. Tong Nan, Si, Pei. Cheers, huh? <clears throat> I hope I don't resemble someone uh, talk, 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 then drink the water, then the chang hua yi, then chang mala yi. Tuan Tuan dan Tuan Tuan. Selamat malam. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah, I think one more. Okay, I'm going <laughs> into the second topic, which is the four direction. We are talking about north, south, east, west. We are also talking about Qing Long Bai Hu, Zhu Chie Xuan Hu, meaning the dragon, tiger, phoenix, and tortoise location based on north, south, and east, and west. Why I want to bring up this topic to discuss with all of you is for a simple reason. Throughout the years, some of my customers tell me, you go into the house, you step from outside into the house, your right hand will be the Ai Hu Xie, your left hand will be the Qing Long Xie. There are also some people telling me, if I stand inside the house, I look up to the main door, my left hand side is the Qing Long Xie and my right hand side is the Bai Hu Xie. So what is this Qing Long Xie, which is uh, known as Qing Long Xie, is green dragon, and Bai Hu Xie is white tiger. It's talking about the tiger and dragon. If you watch the Shaolin movie, Shaolin, Shaolin, Shaolin Si, uh, during our younger days, we have watched this movie known as Shaolin Sipa Tongren, where they fight the, the bronze uh, robot. You have to go in, you have to fight. If you cannot pass through the stages, there is a small hole you can actually crack, uh, uh, crawl up from there. That means you give up, you cannot fight. If you can fight through, after you have fought through the Sipa Tong Ren Zhen, the bronze uh, warrior, the last stage uh, is a very big urn, Xiang Lu, is full of uh, fire inside, heated up. So they have to use their arm, both sides of their arm, to clip onto the urn and bring it up and carry and turn one round and place it back. So, on this turn, the side of the turn, there is a tiger and there's a dragon. So, when you put your hands together, your, your arm, when you use your arm to carry the 
burn the xiang lu is the imprint is actually burned into the skin so last time the shaolin uh, movie uh, if you see a tiger and a dragon on the palm means you are from shaolin si okay last time uh, not now so now nobody put a dragon and a tiger the next moment you will go to uh, have coffee at ssb all right so uh, we talk about the green dragon and the white tiger now whether you face from the house looking outwards or you face from the door looking inwards i personally think that the qing long bai hu xie shouldn't be based on where you stand and how you face it is very difficult for you to find the correct place if you are talking about qing long and bai hu xie you should be talking about the east and the west direction on the east side where the sun rises the sun rises it is known as the green dragon position qing long xie where the sunset is at the west direction of the house or the west of the earth it is known as the bai hu xie so when you are in the house you are in the location you use your compass to see the direction you will see a north direction of facing so when you see a north direction facing on your right will be the east on your left will be the west so if you see the east direction that is direction will be the qing long xie the green dragon position the one on the left will be the west will be the bai hu xie so let, let us make this thing clear east qing long xie west bai hu xie white tiger east is green dragon so how about the north and the south If you notice during the year end when the wind comes from the north is actually very cool cooling correct so during this period of time before it's actually transitioning into the next season so now we are summer near to autumn so summer time the wind come from the south So the southern hemisphere is hotter. The wind is hot. So when it blows from the south wind, we feel the heat. When autumn time, it start to change from the north. So the wind will be very cooling. This is also the time where we start to get flu. We start to get sick because from the heat, suddenly the weather change. become cold that's why we we if those people who, who don't take care you know your pulse and some people say it's, it's flu season or whatever but to me is that the change of wind direction so the north side is known as the black tortoise the southern side is known as the red phoenix so The tortoise belongs to the north side. So the red phoenix belongs to the south side. So phoenix is uh, very fiery, very hot. So we have these four main direction: the green dragon, the white tiger, the red phoenix, and the black tortoise. So these four direction forms what we know as feng shui. so that we understand where to place whatever kind of thing not everything can be placed at the dragon position not everything can be placed on the tiger position and not everything can be placed on the phoenix position so to share further on what is north south facing the north is like a mountain is very strong like a tortoise is very strong so it's fixed the south needs movement open space phoenix fly phoenix is very strong very fierce very forceful it needs space to fly 
So the dragon spot is for uh, power. The tiger spot is for wealth. So different position has different meanings. Okay, so far no question yet. Good. Uh, how come I cannot see? Got light, light, light. Uh? Or oh, love, love, love. You want? You want? You want? Oh, a lot of people got light, light, light. Uh. Wow. Light, light, light. Light, light, light. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. I see already, I see already. Love, love, love. Yeah, love, love, love. Light, light, light. Thank you. Okay. So, next time, you go to your house, you go to someone's house, someone comes to your house. Remember, it's not you go inside, left hand side is green dragon, right hand side is white tiger, it's watching long you buy one. If, if you buy the idea then I have nothing to say but I very explain it very clearly. Now, what can we place on our well spot? If we know where is our well spot. So what can we place? Wow, so many lights. Huh? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, I see already. Wow, now I got energy. Okay. What can be placed in your well spot? On your well spot? Anything that enhances wealth can be placed on the well spot. It's not necessary for you to place just one thing. But please, don't place too many things. Don't cutter up your well spot. Your well spot is supposed to be cutter free to be clear of all obstacles if you want to place certain uh, feng shui item don't place too many look for the thing that you you personally feel that is good for you some people put qi bao pen the uh, bowl with all the treasures inside some people put tian lu some people put qi ling, some people put a lot of things. But don't cut it up. Don't forget that feng shui items also clash one another. It's not, wow, feng shui item is good. You can put a lot of feng shui items all over the house, in the living room. Some every bedroom also have, toilet also have, kitchen also have. Main door, you come in, wow, the house looks like what? It looks like a mini temple. What you need to do is to focus in the living room, focus on your well spot, place some items you personally like. I think that will be enough. Alright? So, for your living room, it's important to place a feng shui item to enhance your wealth. Inside your bedroom, your master bedroom, you just need to go the well. You can also put a piggy bank inside your uh, master bedroom, the, the well spot. Okay. Wow, so many lights. Huh? <coughs> wow, thank you, thank you. Yeah, okay, we are one hour already, 45 minutes. About 45 minutes. Huh? Coming to one hour. 58 minutes. 58. Are you all okay now or you want, me, you want to motivate me to carry on? If you want to motivate me to carry on, I can drag another 15 minutes to 20 minutes. What's your question? Okay. Well, I continue to see so many likes. Wow. Who is this person? Uh? Your hand, your finger not painful, man. <laughs> Okay, let me finish this before I answer uh, Sis Ross' uh, question. I haven't seen your question yet. Okay, so what can be placed in well spot? I will explain. But you all know what cannot be placed in the well spot? Ah, this one you all think about it first. I keep on seeing the light, I'm so happy. Okay, back to the thing about feng shui items. Not all feng shui items can coexist together. Some clash against one another. If you don't know what to place, you place too many items, they start to clash with one another. Instead of creating harmony, you are creating disharmony. So please take note of that. I've seen some houses, 
Their Feng Shui item add together is more than what I have inside my office. Inside my house. My house only got two Feng Shui items. How can you have more? You understand what I mean? I'm doing Feng Shui, I only have two to three Feng Shui items at home. And it's enough. Good things are donate a lot. Good things, one or two items, enough really. So, what cannot be placed in your last spot, at your last spot? Anything that has resemblance of weapons, of destruction, cannot be placed at your last spot. For example, Samurai sword, sword of honor. Sword of honor is something that is honorable, yes. But a sword is a sword. A sword cuts both ways. So it's a weapon itself. Be it even if a sword of honor is still a weapon. So your web sword should not have such things. Cactus. Anything that can injure yourself. Nails. Needles. All these items should not be placed at your last spot. Alright? Good. Let me see. Uh, okay, let me check back. Huh? Sis Ross. Ross Young. If people find northeast of your house, how to find that? Do we take compass, stand in the middle, or we stand at the door? Okay. Uh, Sis Ross, if you take a compass, you stand anywhere, the compass, if it's working properly, will face the, the, the needle will face the needle will face north all the time. Even if you have your uh, iPhone, you have your uh, Android phone, uh, if you have a compass feature, if you stand here in my office, you will see that the north direction will point at certain angle. You go downstairs, it still points at the same angle because the north-south pole is always north-south pole. Unless your compass square. If your compass not square, right? So it's easy to take direction. You just need to know why you want to what you want to find out. Because I don't really understand the question because you say if people find northeast of your house. How do they find that? So I assume that you are talking about you want to find a direction of the house. So you, wherever direction you find, you stand there in the middle of that place. You take out a compass, you see the arrow, it will point to the north. The difference between a compass and a law pan, the law pan is used by, uh, by us. Okay. Later I show you a law pan. Okay, the compass, let me show you the compass. Huh? facing me uh, so I cannot see the kind of okay. the north direction will always be there so what's the difference between a compass and the north one yeah okay I can see already okay what's the difference between a compass and the north one the compass always points to the north, the needle. The law pan is called a zi nan zhen. Zi nan zhen means pointing south. The needle points south. So zi nan zhen, law pan, is the needle facing the south. Compass used for topo, used for uh, navigation, the, the compass always points to the north. 
Okay, so this rust, no problem. Anything you cannot find a direction, you call me, I will help you find a direction. Okay, thanks for your questions, everyone. Brother Ernest, Encore, Siong, I drink one cup of water, finish already. Eh. Okay. Generally, generally, wealth is is. Brother Ernest, wealth is everywhere. Tong Nan Si Pei, Tong everywhere. So, uh, wealth comes from all directions. So, uh, we have to find the proper wealth spot for ourselves because every one of us has individual uh, wealth spots. Yes, buddy Adrian. Simply put, each direction is the in the living room is the is the wealth spot. Uh, okay, if you want to base it on Qing Long Xie, Bai Hu uh, then the the east is a basic wealth spot. Which want to base on personal direction. For example, where is Raiden's wealth spot? That is a different thing. It may not be in the east. It may be in the west. It may be in the north or northeast, southwest, so ever. Okay. So individuals, uh, individuals wealth spot Taiwan uh, is different. Okay. Yes, sis, sis Ross. So north is in the compass. Correct. Okay. Ace Ang. Water or incense can be placed at well corner. Okay. Water or incense can be placed at well corner. Uh, I, I'm not very sure about when you talk about the incense, what incense are you talking about? It can be well, those aroma incense, it can be for prayers, it can be for uh, meditation. Water, what kind of water are we talking about? Are we talking about uh, water fountain, water bottle, a cup of water, or a fish tank that is 7, 3, 3, the size 7 feet by 3 by 3, I am not sure. But again, uh, water placement of water, we need to be careful. We have to understand uh, the north, south, east, west facing. Okay. Wow, suddenly so many questions. Bambalai, bambalai, bambalai. Okay, water or incense can be placed at well corner. Now, well corner, your personal well corner doesn't mean it's suitable to put water feature. For example, the south direction is the red phoenix, right? I explained earlier. So the phoenix belongs to fire. So if you put water related features at the southern point of the unit of your house, it has conflict. Okay, water fire conflict. So if you place it at the north, the north is water. So when you put fire at the water, also conflict. Oh, so these are all basic theory. Uh. If you really want to understand more, you, uh, you have to go into a lot of details. Okay? So basically, this is uh, how it happens. Uh. Just like the Qing Long Xie, the, the east side should be more powerful or more movement than the west side, Bai Hu Xie. Bai Hu needs to be not so active, cannot overpower the green dragon. Uh, so there are many theories. Okay. Like I say, uh, if you want to do live art, uh, I can do every week. Okay, but I don't know whether I got a battery or not, my energy don't know can last or not. I see so many lights, uh, well, I want to stop also cannot. Uh. Okay, we will go for another like 10-15 minutes. Uh, let me see whether there are any more questions. Uh. If not, then we can slowly summarize and then uh, yeah, call it a day. Sis Teresa. Tomorrow, when uh, we decide to place your Tianlu at Harvey Chai Wei, which is at the hall, is it okay? As so long as Chai Wei. 
your office no place to put. Wow, your office so many things to put, uh, so much money to put, so much boba to put, nowhere to put. Okay. Uh, you already know where is your chai wei at your living room. Last time I see for you already. Oh, near to the window. Uh, yeah, near to the window. Oh, in the middle of your living room on the left side. So you can place the tin look that you got from me at the chai wei down there. Okay. Want to know more about the tin you refer to the tin look life or you call me uh, directly. Uh, you know my you you know my contact number. Uh. Alright, so um yes, tomorrow uh, morning. Okay, Denise. 怎么样知道家是什么做像啊好像做做北朝南啊 Is it based on the door? No, it's based on the compass <laughs> It's based on the compass If you are at the living room If your compass points out to the north uh, 你就坐南朝北 uh, So it depends It's not depend on yeah, The door direction it determines where your facing is yeah, but you need to check the compass so that you know wh wh where is the north direction. Then you know the, your door is facing either northeast, uh, southwest, so on. Okay. <coughs> You're welcome, my buddy Eden. We haven't meet up for Makana. Don't forget. It's on circle incense or Namong or Namong for praying. Communion. Okay. Uh, may I know what are you praying? Because if you are praying, then you are praying to something, right? Uh, unless you are praying to the the sentient beings. Uh, if you are praying to sentient beings, it should be outside the house. If you are if you are doing meditation or whatever, you should have a meditation area that is clear of all uh, other things. Then it, is better. Oh. Pastor, hold on to your to, to iPhone charger for recharge. Brother Willy, steady now. I have I have you know I have how many with me right? I have one. I have two. I have three. I have four. I have four. And just now uh, from the start, uh, I can't see I can't see anything. <laughs> okay. Thanks uh, thanks Mother Willy for joining us. Okay, yes, Teresa, yes, living room window near yeah, yes, okay, good, good, noted. Well, now I see a lot of laugh, laugh. What's so good to laugh? Huh? What's so good to laugh? <laughs> okay. Last but not least, let's uh, wrap up this session. Oh, we have still a lot of things to say. Right? Shall we move to next week uh, live session? We continue about this uh, pantang. You know what pantang? Right? Pantang ja kantang. When, oh, okay. Let me finish in five minutes time. When Customer ask me or oh, what? Like this kind of not, like that kind of not. If I do this, what happen? If I don't do this, what happen? If I if I uh, move house on the Luna Seven, what happen? You know, during my that time the recorded video I have said before, I would just would like to highlight to you again. Okay, what is pantang? Chinese everything good except pantang. A bit a bit pantang, a bit a bit pantang. Okay. I always reply to my friends, my customers, whoever asks me questions. Huh? I tell them, if you want to do, don't pantang. If you want to pantang, don't do. Fair enough. If you cannot, they have no choice but to move house during the seven months. Then you have no choice, no need to pantang. If you, if you have a choice and you are pantang, don't move your house, don't shift house during the seven months. Everything will be fine. Uh, because every month, be it 农历六月、七月、八月、九月、十一月, 
during the lunar months or whatever, every month has good dates and every month has bad dates. Even the lunar 8 month, which is the most auspicious month of the year, also will have poor zi, sui po, all these kind of dates. Will also have uh, bad dates. Okay? So, baby smiling at you. Ha ha ha, my great grand niece. Okay, uh, just to share with you next week, same time. Maybe I will do it earlier. So maybe 7 7 45 or 7 30. Okay. Let's let's make it at 8 p.m. Never mind I overtime never mind for I see so many likes uh, I see so many love 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 uh, love love love. I'm very happy, you're also very happy. Okay, next week we will talk about feng shui taboos. Okay? Uh, about the road junction. Staying near hospital, la, cemetery, la, west sun, la, all, all this kind of thing. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, another thing I want to talk about because I ran out of time. We are talking about the different forms of sa. Sa means what? Poison arrow. Oh, we have tian sa, di sa, lu sa, sui sa, fan guang sa. A lot of sa. La. Sa until I also, I also don't know what is, how to sa it. Okay? Uh, let me see. Uh. Okay, we have uh, all these to share with you all next week uh, because I cannot continue already. Uh. It's about one and a half hours. Tired already. Okay, so next week we will talk about more about Pantang, about uh, things that is relevant to all of you. Uh. Scared of this side, scared of that side. We will talk about how to understand this side and how to, uh, how to live with it. Uh. You know, next time when you want to select a house, uh, you also know what to do. Okay, next week we'll talk about uh, basic things that we need to look for during the house selection. We should also cover all this side and all these things and the pantang pantang thing. Okay, any more last questions before we call it a day? Remember, uh, please help me to like and share, take screenshot. We have three Tianlu pocket size, minimum worth 68 to $88, no GST because free. The three winners will walk away with, okay, I'll show you, maybe some of you didn't see. ta -da! Okay, this is one. Okay. We put one, uh, okay, you see the back side. This one got Jia Hou Liao one. Uh. Okay. So the rest of the two, I don't show you first, I'll show you next week. Okay, so we have three in total. Please help me to like and share. And please help me to uh, follow us, like our page, the Kenu Jomancy Private Limited, the official page, so that you all can comment. Now, you see, last week nobody can comment. Now, so many people can like, 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 oh, uh, until now, uh, oh, I see already, uh, I know how to shut off the light. Okay, any more questions? If no more, I'd like to end my session. Sorry, Abdul, we just came in. Uh, we are ending soon. Thanks all of you for the like, 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 love, love, love. Now nobody laugh already. Okay, never mind. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time to uh, join us in this live session. I'll see you all again next week and we'll talk about all the country stuff. So remember, 28 October is our 31st anniversary for Kenu Jomanchi Private Limited. Okay, when we started the company, uh, I started off as a feng shui practitioner, 33, uh, 31 years already. So, 28 October, please remember to join us. Please remember to PM us the screenshot of your like and share. We will do a live uh, lucky draw session. Okay, thank you so much. Good night, everybody. Good night.